Jay-Z's 99 problems now include an $18 million perfume lawsuit. As a result, he's even had to hire a retired cop to spy on the former CEO of the perfume company. All of this dates back to a 2012 agreement for a gold Jay-Z fragrance with the company Parlox Fragrances, which led to a 2016 lawsuit that has had several twists and is currently in front of the courts now. Parlax filed a breach of contract lawsuit accusing Jay-Z of refusing to make appearances to promote the fragrance whilst collecting $2 million in royalties. Sales of gold Jay-Z have declined considerably because of Jay-Z's and his team's lack of interest in supporting and promoting his own brand, according to the lawsuit. Gold Jay-Z was actually the best-selling celebrity fragrance a year after its launch in 2014, selling eight times the runner-up David Beckham's aftershave. In 2015, the sales dropped off from a projected $35 million to $6.1 million because the rapper was too busy with other projects to promote the fragrance the lawsuit originally filed in 2016 claims. According to the lawsuit, Jay-Z refused to appear on the TV show Good Morning America, rejected a cover story for Women's Wear Daily, and also wouldn't attend an event at a Macy's to promote the fragrance. They allege Jay-Z kept an 18 karat gold designer bottle worth $20,000 despite rejecting the design. The suit says that Jay-Z hasn't made a single appearance to support gold Jay-Z and wasn't available for meetings for spin-offs for five months in 2014. According to the lawsuit, these actions crippled the emerging brand all while collecting a handsome guaranteed minimum royalty as well as Perfumania common stock. The company wants the $2 million royalties paid back plus $16 million in damages. And then Jay-Z countersued, alleging that Parlox had in fact breached its own obligations under the deal by failing to provide accounting reports, business plans and promo resources as well as royalty payments. Now the matter is moving to court and Jay-Z is expected to be grilled as a witness However, where the spy comes into all this is over former Parlock CEO Donald Loftus also being called as a witness. He wants to testify remotely and submitted two doctor's letters asking the court to let him answer questions remotely. His letters reportedly claim he's so fearful of the virus that he has carefully avoided indoor public settings, but Jay-Z's legal team wasn't buying that. And that's why they hired an ex-cop as a spy who snapped photos of Loftus walking around Manhattan without a mask, boarding buses, shopping inside a grocery store, standing in a crowd at a parade and frequently dining in restaurants, including eating indoors according to a restaurant employee. According to Jay-Z's lawyers, Parlox's decision to launch the fragrance at Macy's went against his wishes to debut the product at Barney's because Jay-Z needed this to be a high-end product that fits his brand saying he didn't want a product on the shelves of Walmart between hand sanitizer and Tic Tacs. However, Parlox alleges that Jay-Z had always planned to renege on the deal and pointed to the deletion of emails tied to the case the same month that Parlox sued them. However, Jay-Z's lawyers say it was an honest mistake by an IT worker. The whole thing is intriguing because the case opens both Jay-Z and the former CEO to potentially having to answer awkward questions. So I'm sure this won't be the last we are hearing of this case, and so I don't want to judge it for now, but we will return to this story as the court case unfolds. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out, and if you made it this far, you'll enjoy one of these other videos too.